Okay, YouTube family, there's a lot going on. We're trying to solve this case. No, I'm not trying to solve the case at all. Somebody asked me that before. What I do is I upload the information and you guys look at it just like you look at it on any other newspaper. I'm talking to the street dudes too. Don't put me into anything that's 12 related. All I take is what the news put out there or what all you folks already put out on Instagram and it has to have at least thousands and millions of views and we talk about it. I need some of y'all to fall back. So we're going to talk about another one. My dog, I got the Saw's YouTube channel. Well, he brought up something. I'm not going to confirm this as a fact. I'm not going to confirm this as nothing else other than information we sharing with people that everybody watched his channel already it has 400 something thousand views so why not speak about it i got the sauce just gave a drop on the sauce this individual here he said got arrested during the what he circled his uh takeoff right here he's like the individual was in there that night over here and this gentleman was arrested i'm gonna make a disclaimer i do not know who this gentleman is the picture you're watching is directly taken from i got the sauce youtube channel the reason why i'm putting this here let's discuss this for a moment now i don't know who this gentleman is i have no recollections if he got arrested or not for real but i got the sauce said he was arrested that night and he got ties to no other than j prince jr with mob ties in them and i don't know if he's mob ties or not but y'all go to i got the sauce for that info i give credit that's what you do as a journalist now i want to talk about it because it, it really has something deeper to be more of okay this supposed to be a private party right and before we get started y'all know what y'all gotta do to help platforms out i don't ask for donations like your favorite youtuber your favorite youtuber is getting millions of views and still begging y'all for donations i don't get half what they're getting and i don't ask y'all for nothing other than support the platform hit the like button hit the notification bell we hard hitting with this information over here you dig now this supposed to be a private party where the cop says 40 to 30 people is in there what i find hard to believe is you look on twitter i released a video that has 300 and something thousand views right now where it's the witnesses who were there and all claiming they seen what happened all and y'all love to say bloggers are the snitches but everybody was there is talking everybody who was there is posting they may not be talking to the police but they are speaking to everybody around social media they're sending text messages they're sending pictures the well, how do you think so many pictures and videos of poor takeoff lying there on the floor meeting his own demise by these so-called supposed to be level-headed people now i'm not even mad at nobody because when the houston police department made an announcement to get information out majority of the people didn't want to speak at all i'm not trying to tell people to speak or not speak i'm just showing you how it works and what's going on now when they bring up this gentleman who's been arrested i'm not really much worried about him because there's no way to validate if it's true or not so we're, we're talking about that so y'all can tell me if y'all know this individual that the youtuber i got saw just dropped but my thing is more deep into you tell me they were arguing right look at this argument when you look at the argument and you look at the videos of what the other witnesses are posting what i find major confusion is is why there's so many people there you see clearly way more than 200 people walking about everybody just chilling there now i know the pro the private party was private and if they're talking about it like that only this amount attended there but maybe after the shots or the commotion started outside more people gathered there i don't know but things need to start adding up and making sense because there's a lot going on and some some things are like huh how did you make sense of that where did you get this info at it, it's not really clicking and it's not really adding i'm gonna tell you i'm gonna show you once again what i'm talking about but let's go to the police department and what he said that let me feel what he's talking about to step up there were 40 people at least at, at, at this event and people left possibly out of fear and i ask you one thing and i want this to res resonate with everybody what if it was your brother what if it was your son you would want somebody to step up so please step up get the information to us so we can bring some closure um, to this family who's hurting uh, right now. I just want to say something. Got many calls from Houston and outside of Houston. And everyone spoke of 
What a great young man this is. How peaceful he is. What a great artist. And I'm calling up on everybody. Our hip hop artists in Houston and around the nation. We got to police ourselves. It is so many talented individuals, men and women in that community, who again, I love and I respect. Got many calls from Houston. I just want to say something to uh, our city, it's Houston. And every brother and sister, in the neighborhoods. I'm calling you to action. Okay, I want to go to the fight video again. Let's go to that fight video and make it make sense. You know what I mean? We're going to make this make sense because it's not adding up, y'all. I'm here to tell you the truth. A lot of the things you guys are trying to bring and talk about, it's non-cynical, bro. Like, I, it's so many people in hip hop who's lost their life. It don't even make sense how people are trying to still keep some type of G code. Now, me, I got my reasons why I'm not a dude that goes out and tell on this and that. Y'all already know it, and I'm not getting into that. But a lot of y'all don't even live like that. You, you guys always preach against this and that. So why you don't get into the mix with twelve and all of them? You feel me? That's always weird to me, man. But. I don't get into that part. I don't question anybody. So don't question me and what the merits and morals. But if 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 the party is a situation where it's open to the public the way it's open, even though they say it's not, how many other stragglers was in there and who's really connected to who? Because if you're a head honcho, you're not going to just let any random dude provide the protection. You're going to be around there to make sure that you have certain people who's looking out for you that nobody knows is actually there. Any smart person would do that. I want y'all to look at that video right quick. Let's go to the video right quick. Hang on. See that? Say, hey, let's go. See what I mean? All right, y'all seen what I mean, man. It's so many questions that needs to be questioned. You feel me, man? I, I, um, you feel me? I know Takeoff seen his killer. You feel me? Because the way he moved, we'll, we'll do that later, and I'm going to show y'all what I'm talking about. Takeoff seen who killed him, and everybody there, I hate to admit it, you see, that's too much close range and proximity. They seen who fired them shots, man. Too many rappers are gone. Too many rappers are dying. So I got the sauce put up this picture of the maybe possible killer or the guy arrested i don't know if that's the case at all i'm not getting into that because we would have seen breaking news but at the same time i respect all content creators there's nothing wrong in talking about possible situations look i'm your guy dj bless one thank you for watching another episode of i smoke hip-hop live once again man rest in heaven to the great takeoff man i hope you take flight to the rest of the family members you've lost and friends you've lost and you meet them again. And I hope you have that energy to know your dog and Uncle Quavo will meet you again, hopefully a long, long time from now. Y'all have a blessed day. Love your family. Love your kids. Stay blessed.